So Arrangement for a Silent Orchestra is a video and painting project that really looks at the relationship between increasing technology and diminishing evidence of cultural heritage in contemporary society. So ultimately what I'm interested in doing is using what is both a personal and cultural icon being the violin, I'm interested in um, posing questions about what is the value of this traditional practice and the potential impact of its loss. So that carries into um, other questions such as in an era that really values technology and um, increased emphasis on technology in society or in education, what happens when the arts and writing are devalued and what is that relationship? And I'm really interested in um, finding a balance there. What is, what is the balance between traditional practice and new technology and contemporary culture? So the original inspiration for Arrangements for Silent Orchestra, um, I had the idea when I was actually on a road trip uh, through Colorado several years ago. Uh, my previous work had repeated imagery of piles and holes and sort of references to the funerary tradition. And as I was driving through Colorado on that trip, I was really struck by um, the sunlight illuminating the rolling hills through western Colorado late in the afternoon. And I had a, an idea at that point for sort of this, um, just a pile of violins lit by the sunlight at different times of day, sort of um, thinking about the idea of Monet's haystacks. So a, a single image over a period of time and how the, the light and color changes within that. And that, uh, and for whatever reason, you know, I have, I grew up playing the violin. I've, that's sort of another level of repeated imagery in my work. Um, the pile of violins just came to me at that point. But then as I began to think of it, I started thinking about, well, what is a pile of violins in the landscape? Sort of this discards of the classical tradition. Also, they're wooden objects piled up. So that brought up this idea of, um, you know, wooden objects in the landscape kindling for a fire. And then I started really thinking about what the relationship was between a burning pile of violins and what that said about contemporary culture and the broader ideas that go with that. My artistic process really includes everything from the original idea informing a project, um, the research that goes along with that. I research other artists' work as well as the, the themes that go into the meaning of the work. Um, from there, I uh, collect my reference material. So for this project, for Arrangement for a Silent Orchestra, that involved collecting violins beyond repair from instrument shops nationwide. So over a period of nine months, I solicited um, these you know, instruments beyond repair, collected them, and then staged the bonfire basically in the National Forest. So I connected with the forest agencies to see what I would need to do, um, if anything, to, to permit that process. Um, and then from those photographs and the video, I spent a long time just working through the photographs, looking at what I'll use, and then deciding um, the images that'll be based on them. So the, the photographic references, I'm actually working from a composite of multiple images for any given image. Um, there's also the construction of the stretcher bars, the preparing of the canvas, the developing underpainting, and all the way through to developing the final image, all of which for a given image takes um, close to a year for each piece, but I work on multiple pieces at a time, which makes it more efficient. Arrangement for a Silent Orchestra really does go back to my previous interests in metaphor and allegory. I think uh, there's a couple different ways that, it, that metaphor pertains to this work. One is in the symbolism of what the violin represents. It represents a tradition and a cultural heritage that's not only the classical tradition, but it also um, transcends classes. Um, you know, you have folk traditions. It um, really took on a global um, posture, I guess you can say. So there's the symbolism of the in instrument itself and the placement of that in the landscape, again, sort of the discards of, uh, or the, the, the crematory uh, site for the classical tradition. Um, and then the fire, you know, fire, there's evidence of 
symbolic burning throughout human history and um, obviously as, as horrifying as some of that symbolism has been, um, burning, intentional burning is in itself a symbolic act. So to, to take the symbolism between with fire and apply it to the symbolism of this icon of this musical tradition and as well as the landscape tradition, that in itself is a metaphor for Western art. Um, so to combine those and sort of juxtapose, juxtapose those traditions um, I think sort of extends the, the metaphor 